More than 4,000 people died from COVID-19 on Friday. COVID is claiming lives faster than India can bury or cremate them. Nearly everyone has a loved one who needs help right now. And for so many people, they just cannot find it. I grew up in India. My family's still there. My mom, dad, my in-laws, my sister, my cousins. I am very petrified of looking at the news. I'm scared of every phone call that comes from home. I don't know who it is this time. Never could we imagine that such travesty would happen, that complete collapse of our medical system. Complete collapse. We're running out of everything. We are engaging with excellent partners to be able to make a real, tangible difference. The ACT Consortium in India will be purchasing 50,000 oxygen concentrators. Each one of those concentrators can help up to 1,100 people. I have money, I have everything, but I can't save my sister. No oxygen, no bed. Where we can do, where we can go. We know what it means to be alone in the world, to be feeling enormous pressure and burden and feeling that no one else in the world cares. And here now, there's an opportunity for us to illustrate what it means to step up when another nation is in crisis. As the Ramam so beautifully taught, the extent of our compassion and our concern goes beyond our own community. God's goodness extends to everyone, and we are supposed to be exactly the same way. No one else understands suffering as Jewish community does, and that's where Indian and Indians in India needs this community to stand with us in solidarity. The OU is partnering with YPO, a global consortium of presidents and CEOs, to ensure that every dollar that we give will reach the right destination. Please join us. Join us. It's a moment for us as the Jewish community to act. Well, thank you in a typical Indian way is by folded hands. Holding, hair, holding the hands in India means that you are giving yourself away in the worst possible dignity you can think of to the other person. So thank you so much. I really appreciate it.